Now I will show you garter stitch knitting technique by using my three fingers in Alize Count yarn. For this we are making a knot and create our first loop as shown. And then we are creating desired number of stitches. I made 5 stitches in this project. And I am transferring the stitches to my other hand's finger by using my two fingers as shown. We should hold the yarn as tight as we can. I keep knitting front rows by holding the yarn at each side. And in back rows the yarn will be held in the reverse side. As you see, I'm using these two fingers like scissors for transferring the stitches. Again, I'm knitting the front side by holding the yarn in front as shown. In some models, when you need to increase the stitches, two stitches are pulled inside of the stitches as shown. One from front side and one from back side. By passing the yarn as shown, we keep knitting according to the garter stitch knitting technique. You should remember that we should hold the yarn as tight as possible. In this technique, for opening a bottom hole, we are casting off two stitches together as shown. When we start to knit the upper row, we are taking a stitch as shown, instead of the stitch which we cast off for bottom hole before. Let me show this one more time. And we keep knitting. When finishing the project, we are casting off by taking the stitches two at a time as shown. In this way, we are completing the project. We do not lose the volume and the softness of the yarn by using finger knit technique. As you see, it is a very, very practical technique. Now I will show you a finished project which were knitted with finger knit technique. This is a neck color.